Hello everyone. Right, today we're going to be looking at overnight jars, which seem to be um, a modern trend. It maybe isn't, but it's not something that I've ever heard of before. Um, basically, it's breakfast in a jar, which you can prepare a couple of days before or the night before, and is absolutely perfect if you've got the lifestyle where you need to get up and go. Now, I don't necessarily need to just get up and go, um, but my staple breakfast is porridge in the morning, um, which sets me up for the day. But I've tried the overnight jars, and personally, I find them really tasty. Uh, it encourages me to eat fruit in the morning, which I don't tend to do with my porridge, um, and they're really, really tasty. Um, I make them with oats porridge oats, um, but you can make them with quinoa, uh, which has all the added benefits of quinoa and the, en the extra energy and nutrients that that's going to push into you, which will help you kickstart your day. Um, perfect for the mother on the go who's got to dash out with the children, for the office worker who needs to catch a train, you can sit and eat it on the train, you can sit and eat it at your desk when you get to work, as long as you do eat it when you get to work, because breakfast is the most important meal of the day, as we all know. Um, or even if you know if you have a more leisurely lifestyle, you, you just put them in the fridge and then you get up in the morning, you can you know sit and catch up on your Facebook while you're eating your porridge instead of standing by the stove cooking it, which is what I normally do every morning. Right, you can make, as I say, it will keep in the fridge for up to five days. So um, you can make one big batch, you can make a big batch, which you can do it, you know, into a bigger jar like this, and then just spoon it out each day as you want it. Um, personally, what I like to do is use these um, small uh, jam jars with a screw top lid. Uh, I think some people call them mason jars, just jam jars. Um, the reason I like to use these is that is just enough for a breakfast portion um, and if you make them in separate jars you can make different flavours you know you can use different fruits different days and just make make you your breakfast a bit more varied um, simple to use absolutely easy, so easy to make so we, well, let's go equal ratio of oats to milk okay now I use soya milk because I'm dairy free um, but you can use any milk you like almond milk cow's milk if that's what you drink but basically keep the ratio the same so uh, here I'm using um, a third of a cup of oats to a third uh, sorry two thirds of a cup two thirds of a cup of oats to two thirds of a cup of milk so the oats go straight into the jar and just simply pour the milk on top no need to do anything else, just pour it on top. So there we go, we're only half full. So what we're gonna to do today, I think we will do strawberries and raspberries. Just bear with me. Right, so I've got my strawberries pre-cut. So just drop the strawberries into the pot. You can spend time making it look pretty if you want, but it, it'll taste the same, I guarantee it. <laughs> okay, if you want to add a little bit of vanilla essence, just a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla essence, we'll just give it that little bit more flavour. One thing I do add every day is I put um, chai seeds. Now, I've got sunflower seeds mixed in with these as well, um, but I just put a teaspoonful of chai seeds. You don't have to, but again, they, um, they are good for you. They're full of the nutrients that we need. And if you pop those in um, into the overnight jar, they will soften up overnight and they make it nice and tasty. But the next thing to go in is a tablespoonful and a good tablespoon um, of Greek style yogurt and again I use the fat free yogurt um, or low fat if that's what you prefer but Greek style is the best for you pop that in there we go even it out and what did we say raspberries and then pile it up with raspberries it's so easy, this recipe. It's just so easy. 
and pop the lid on and there you have it one overnight jar jar so that's my breakfast tomorrow morning uh, if you want to flip it over to mix it a little bit but you really don't you really don't need to um, in the morning you just literally need to pick it up out of the fridge and off you go with it you can tip it out into a bowl to eat it if you want but you don't need to you can eat it straight out of the jar I found this perfect yesterday because I was um, car booting so I just took the jar with me and I just sat stood, stood by the car eating it straight out of the jar when I'm at home what I do do um, is I take the lid off because it's obviously because it's metal and I just pop it in the microwave for literally a minute and a half uh, it doesn't heat it up but it just um, just takes the edge off it um, but no longer than that because obviously you've got yogurt in there and it, 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 it might start fizzing and popping and, and not tasting too good so so that's the first one and the second one we're going to do is the same principle again we've got two thirds of oats in there two thirds of a cup of water water milk uh, soya milk in my instant the chai seeds on the top and then I'm going to do banana and blueberry. So put in your banana, just slice it, slice it straight into the pot. They need um, around eight hours in the fridge to 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 make sure that they're, they're properly soaked through. Um, you probably could get away with a little bit less, um, but if you do it the night before, then eight hours, you, you'll have your full eight hours. Now, I have tried it without the yoghurt, and it is nice. Um, it, it is nice without the yoghurt, but the yoghurt does make it a little bit creamier. So, um, I'm converted to the yoghurt now, basically. So, but feel free to try it both ways. You don't need to put the vanilla essence in. You can put any mix of fruit in that you want. You really can. Um, just experiment. Peanut butter anything you know you could even make it savory if you wanted um but yeah any any flavor combination that you might like there are a lot of recipes on the internet um just be aware that a lot of the recipes um say to put uh some form of sugar in either honey or maple syrup or such like now that is exact entirely down to you whether you use them or not i personally don't think we need them because with the fruit You've got the sugar in there anyway. Um, you don't need the added sweetness. And at the end of the day, what we what we're trying to do is stop eating sugar, isn't it? You know, it, it's not good for us. It's making us put weight on. So try it without the sugar first. Try it without the maple syrup or the honey. I know people say, well, honey's a natural sugar. It is a natural sugar, but it is still sugar. So if you can manage it without the sugar, with just the fruit, then it's so much better for you. Right, there we go, and that's our second pot. So that'll be my breakfast on Sunday, I guess. Um, so we've got porridge, bananas, yogurt, and we've got blueberries in there. And by the time that's all soaked through overnight, it will be gorgeous. So enjoy, experiment, let me know how you get on. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.